All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Man, woke up to a nice three or four inches of snow today. Much needed snow. We have not had hardly any snow here at all this winter. That was definitely awesome. So today I got a video for you guys. We're gonna talk about my knife here. This is the Battle Horse Scout Platoon. I've had this knife for probably three or four years and I use it quite a bit. As you can see, it does have some uh, use to it. We're gonna talk about why I like this knife and why I think this knife may be one of the best mountain knives you could possibly get. So let's jump into it. All right, guys, got to forgive me. There's a little background noise. This is from the heater going, and it's definitely cold out here, so I gotta have the heater going. All right, so first off, comes with a nice proprietary Battle Horse Knives sheath. I'm actually ordering a custom new one because this one has seen kind of better days. It's it's loosened up a lot and doesn't hold its shape, so I've had to uh, try to shrink it. So I'm getting a custom one that's gonna be a little bit better for just longevity, but all in all, it's not terribly bad as a sheath. We're gonna talk about the knife. Okay, so, all right, so this knife is a saber grind. Now, why I think this is probably one of the best mountain knives you can get, as you guys know, if you watch my channel for any length of time, I absolutely love smooth handle knives that are not contoured. And this is kind of that classic broomstick handle type design. And what I love about it is it's just smooth. It fits good with gloves, bare hands, no matter what you're gonna be wearing. The knife length on this, the overall length is, it's around 11 inches overall length, so not terrible. The, the blade itself is about six inches. So it's kind of that good balance between a big chopper and a handy knife. Now I've used this knife for cleaning fish, game, all kinds of stuff. Why I think it's really good, it's kind of, in my mind, I don't know if this is intentionally how they designed it, but in my mind, this kind of is reminiscent of the French fur trapping knife from like the Hudson Bay era type company era with how they kind of designed their knives, historically speaking, really inspired by that, I think, in, in my opinion. And what I like about it too, it's good for bushcraft, feather sticking, it's good for chopping. You know, you can get way back on it here and chop. And what I really like about it too is, for me, a mountain knife needs to be a combat knife, really. You need to be able to fight with it. And if something happens and you need to use this as a defensive situation, you know, you're not going to get your hand cut is really not going to slide up on here. You have this little drop here where the blade starts as a guard. So if you need to stab and use this in a defensive situation as a fighting knife, it's, I think, pretty acceptable for the rare instance that you might actually need that. You know, it's, it's definitely thick enough to... Uh, do some major chopping. It has a really good 90 degree spine that will spark fire. You know, it's just a really solid knife. The uh, micarta handles really smooth out good once you wear them in, you know, and it's definitely very good craftsmanship. It's got some brass, call it fisheye brass. Definitely nice. I wish I could have had the time when I, when I did this, I wish I custom ordered it. Honestly, if I could have somebody take this knife and customize it out, I probably would put some liners in there, and I, oh my gosh, I would love to have this knife in burlap micarta. That would make this probably just absolutely phenomenal for my taste. I would love to be able to reduce this and have burlap micarta on there. Another thing I really like about it is, you know, it's really good if you're needing to pry stuff out, wood, to get the fat wood. It's just a really good overall blade. I know a lot of people for bushcraft knives, they want Scandi, which I have tons of Scandi knives and I, I, I love Scandi, but there is just something very multi-use and utilitarian about a saber grind. For you guys that don't know, a Scandi grind is where it's gonna come down here and you're gonna have a really sharp curve down to the edge of the blade as to where your, your grind starts up here. This is a saber grind. It's a lot higher, just a side note on that. The other thing I really like about this blade is it's O1 tool steel. And honestly, you know, it's not that I don't have the money to buy higher quality steel, and there's some really nice ones out there in really good quality steel, but O1 tool steel, it's just my favorite. It's easy to sharp. It has really good strength and longevity. It's not overly insanely expensive. I just, I've always liked O1 tool steel. It's kind of my favorite. I know how to sharpen it the best and I, that's what I'm comfortable with. Honestly, I think for, for, for camping and bushcraft and backpacking, if you're just going to take two tools, I mean, I think a man could do a whole lot worse than, uh, you know, these two. If you got you a good, nice, small hatchet or axe like this, you know, a size like that for for splitting and doing some other stuff. And then you have this, this knife right there. Really, a man could really survive for a long time out in the woods, couldn't he? You know, one of my number one pet peeves is you see a lot of these guys, and, and they, I mean, I get it. 
you want to try to you put a lot of work into YouTube and want to get a lot of views, so you start really testing gear out to the max. But honestly, it's always been a little silly for me, right? Is if you expect a knife to do the work of an axe, you know, it's it's just a little silly to expect that. Now, if that's all you have, you're going to have to make it work, and you want a knife that's capable. And this is very capable of doing some light chopping and batoning. And don't get me wrong, I've batoned with stuff many times. I got some videos batoning just to keep the skills up, but realistically. I think still, I mean, even a very capable big knife like this, you know, it's always pays to have a nice good hatchet or ax. You don't expect these to do, uh, don't expect this to do the job of that, but you want something that if you have to, it's capable of doing stuff. And I think this knife would, this knife will get you there as far as batoning and chopping and stuff like that if you're wanting something multifaceted. You know, a lot of people, for what it's worth in my opinion, a lot of people want to put knives in two camps. They want to have a bushcraft knife and they want to have a survival knife. And honestly, I, I think there's three, uh, three types of knives. I think there's a category that nobody really uses a whole lot. And I call them mountain knives. And this is a mountain knife. You know, it's, that's what this was intended for, just a one and done knife. You know, it's not a survival knife. This is not, I would not classify this as a bushcraft knife. This is, it's a mountain knife. It's something that you can fight with, something you can stab stuff with, something you can clean game with. It's just the all in all knife. And honestly, this is not a, this is not a groundbreaking design. This is a very old design. And there's a reason why this was so popular back in the uh, 1700s and 1800s and, and onwards. You know, this is just a, a simple classic in my opinion mountain knife design that does everything just my opinions for what it's worth what do i know i'm just a guy that runs around the woods so if you like this content and you want to see more videos like it make sure you hit that like share and subscribe we're growing every day getting a lot more new subscribers so welcome and thank you we'll catch you on the next video